Hey everyone, I am popping out to meet a friend, so I thought I would take you to another place in the village. Okay, so what I'm walking up on here is the village green. Um, basically, it's the center point of the village. Um, a lot of people walk through here on their way to and from places. If you continue east of here, you get to the pub. West of here is the school, north is the village hall, and south is the river and the walks that you can take. Um, it doesn't really look like much now, but in the spring it is a riot of daffodils and crocus, and at Christmas time, it looks like this. Isn't it pretty? So again, this is a main thoroughfare. People have to drive past the lights when they come home and they go through the village shops around the corner. Uh, we've done Christmas caroling on the green. All the buses come through, private and public and school buses. So I think it's really cool. So, I did a little research about Village Greens since it's a relatively new and novel concept for me. Um, the history of the Village Green is that it was intended to be the center of a settlement, a place that you could bring your cattle to graze and to feed. Of course, urbanization saw the decay and the decline of making these types of grassland um, available for the settlers. So mostly you'll find village greens in villages that are in, are in the uh, mainland Europe um, and as well as in the United States. Because these areas have been in decline, conservation societies have been set up to protect them. So me and my naivete thought that villages were just a UK thing. And if you are a Downton Abbey fan, you've uh, seen uh, that this is the area where people are constantly bumping into one another on their way to and from the post office and the shop. Additionally, I think it's where they erected the memorial for all the boys that they lost in the Great War. Being a city girl myself, we didn't have access to this amount of grass in one spot unless it was the recreational park, which in my neighborhood was a little bit of a walk away and I wasn't allowed to go there because that's where all the older kids went to hang out and drink beer. So for me, it's kind of a novel concept and it's probably why I think it's really cool and really neat. And I also found out that there are village greens in the US. The most notable one is in New Haven, Connecticut, and it dates back all the way to the 1630s. My eye is constantly drawn to this area as I walk through the village, but I also found out in my sleuthing that my village has two greens which makes sense. Um, the other area, the other green has the stocks in it. Uh, so that would be the place where public punishment happened and who wouldn't want to gather to watch public punishment. I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson about another area of the village that I live in. And if there's anything in particular that you would like to see or know about rural British village life, pop a comment in the uh, comments box below. Additionally, if you like what you've seen, please click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell, and that way you'll be notified every time a new episode of Village Life comes out. Until then, see you next time. Bye.